What happened today? And meanwhile, Health uh, Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe has emphasized on individual responsibility as one and most effective ways of controlling the spread of the coronavirus. The CS also urged teachers to get vaccinated to avoid the spread of the infections within the learning institutions. He was speaking after meeting Tanzania Health Minister Dorothy Wajima. Um, a couple of uh, increased infections in schools, but uh, the evidence that we have so far is that uh, in spite of that, in spite of that, we don't have uh, a situation, a panic situation where hospitalization and other measures that we observe and other variables that we observe are necessarily on the increase. So we are in constant communication. We have got a, a board that tells us on the hour what is happening in the entire school system. And of course, if we notice that um, anything is getting out of hand, then we have to take the necessary measures. But for now, as long as people can keep the measures that we have given, and especially this idea of all teachers being vaccinated, I have said, and I'll repeat, that the danger in schools is more to do with the teachers than to do with the students. Because essentially, when the, the, our, what we have observed is that the students are essentially asymptomatic. And the problem becomes when they pass it on to the teachers. So hopefully, the teachers will accept and agree that they all should be vaccinated. Workers in schools, workers in primary schools, secondary schools, and, all, and elsewhere should also be vaccinated. And they are frontline workers, and we have considered them as such. So in terms of vaccination, there is no shortage of vaccination for teachers. Let's ma let me just make it clear. There is no shortage of vaccination for teachers and other school workers. As long as uh, they get vaccinated, then we can mitigate that particular factor in schools. Of course, but as I said and I repeat, we will take all measures that are necessary as we continue to observe the situation. I also want to take this opportunity to say yes, the infection rates in Kenya are now high. And it is important, it is very, very important for us to be honest with each other and continue to say that it is individual responsibility that you resolve this problem. It is not policing that is going to resolve the problem of infections. Transmissions come because you are next to another person. If you are on your own, if you stay on your own, if you work from home, as we have proposed, if you take the measures to protect yourself, you will not get infected. But if you go to a noisy pub, if you walk into a noisy pub where everybody is drunk, and you start hugging each other, and you hug even a stranger that you have never... All right, time for another break here on a KTN News Desk. I'll be right back with more news making the headlines. So keep it KTN News.